North Korea has fired two unidentified projectiles. Of all the hotspots we just talked about, we did not mention North Korea, but it remains one to keep an eye on. Don't think that this isn't related to the trade war slash currency wars. We're interfering with Hong Kong. North Korea is distracting us from what else is going on. So I don't think this is a coincidence. You see it that way? 100%. 100%. 100%. percent. And it happens on a, on a Friday when the markets close. Gives you something to think about over the weekend. I'm going to be, you know, conspiracy theory? Yes. Because they're usually right, T. Having said that, I mean, think about the distraction that North Korea has been for market players. North Korea has been almost irrelevant every time we've thought about it as a geopolitical risk. I don't want to be uh, overly naive to the tensions that are in that part of the world, but um, this is not something I'm trading on. In fact, we've, this is the second headline like this this week. No, but hold on. That, it's that it's, it's been... another front, though, in this war that we are having with China that's going to go on for decades. That's really the point here. This is a multi-front war at this point. Which would, would, would Kim be doing this if he did did not have the tacit permission of Beijing? No. No, no, no that's the no, point. That's, the that's, point. That's, that's, that's exactly the point. So, you know, to Tim's More point, mischief. I don't think it's a, it's not a catalyst that you're going to Monday morning make a trade on, but you need to be aware that we are in this kind of economic slash currency war. These type of things happen.